kitu yenye si kwa naamini siku moja nitaona mtoto wangu hata anaojua na wazungu eh si kwa naamini naweza tendeka na najua na, na, na mimi hata naamini na ninamwambianga na bado utaenda saidi hata utapita serena one day eh mali serena alifika utakuta uko mbele saidi bora tu unajiamini unatoa maringo yani pride unakuwa tu discipline Last week on the show, we brought you the story of Angela Oktoy, the first Kenyan girl to win the Grand Slam title in the Wimbledon. Today, we continue with her inspirational story. Hello and welcome to Globe Traction. My name is Pasil Telewa. And today on the show, we focus so much more from the grandmother's side of the story as we listen to how it has been for her raising Angela Oktoy and her sister. Enjoy. In the realm of Kenyan tennis, one name stands out with a trailblazing legacy. Meet Angela Okutoi, a prodigious talent that has captivated the world with her exceptional skills on the court. Today on Globe Traction, we explore the remarkable journey of this Kenyan tennis star and her numerous achievements that have solidified her place in the annals of tennis history. Born on January 29, 2004, Angela Okutoi has carved a path of triumph as a professional tennis player from Kenya. She etched her name in the record books by becoming the first Kenyan to secure a Grand Slam title, triumphing at the Girls' Juniors Wimbledon event alongside her partner, Rosemary Nijkamp. The 2022 Australian Open witnessed a historic moment as Angela Okutoi became the inaugural representative of Kenya to win a Gold Junior Singles Grand Slam match. Her unwavering determination and exceptional skill propelled her to victory, blazing a trail for future Kenyan tennis players. Stepping onto the International Tennis Federation circuit, Okutoi has displayed her prowess by securing a notable doubles title. Her skillful play and strategic finesse have earned her a win-loss record of 2-4 while representing the Kenya Billie Jean King Cup team, showcasing her dedication to her country's tennis aspirations. Angela's journey to greatness has been deeply influenced by her personal life. Raised by her loving grandmother, Mary, alongside her sister, Rosalinda Asumwa, she found solace and encouragement in their unwavering support. Together, they frequented the Nairobi Club, where Angela's talent flourished on the court. Angela Okutoi has left an indelible mark in ITF finals, reaching the pinnacle of singles and doubles competitions. In her relentless pursuit of victory, she reached the final of a singles tournament, showcasing her resilience and tenacity. Though she fell short, her future shines brightly as she continues to elevate her game. Angela's junior career has been nothing short of spectacular. At the 2022 Australian Open, she showcased her talent by conquering formidable opponents, making her way to the third round, a groundbreaking achievement for a Kenyan player. Angela Okutoi, a shining star among Kenyan tennis players, has left an indelible mark on the sport through her unwavering dedication and remarkable achievements. As she continues to make her mark on the global tennis stage, the world eagerly watches the rise of this extraordinary athlete, knowing that her journey is far from over. And it's for this reason that she makes it to Globe Traction with Persil Talewa. Is there so much pressure when you're a superstar? Not really, it's if you put it in your head. Why do you think you don't do things your peers do? Well, because I have because a goal. you're a superstar. No! <laughs> I have a goal. Your schedule is different. It's different, yeah, right? Yeah. And also I'm determined to my schedule, so that's why I don't get, have enough time to go all those. So it's waste of time so, for me. Talking about it, do you have a manager? 
Nope. How are you managing yourself? My uncle is helping me. We've tried to find managers, but it's tough because now I'm in college and it's tough to be managed if you're in college. But if I wasn't in college right now, I'd have had a manager. Yeah. 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 You've been doing this since you were four years? Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Yes. What's got you into tennis? Why didn't you choose to play, you know, with toys and other things, you know, what other kids do? Well, I think I was playing with toys from age one <laughs> till three or four around there. Yeah. But uh, yeah. it got to a point where like, I'm done with toys. <laughs> Actually, I think I would have still played with toys, yeah. but it's just where we used to live. There was where were you living then? Loretta Convent Valley Road. Yeah. Just here. Yeah. yeah, so there was like a tennis court. And uh, my mom, my grandmother was working there. And the coach who used to work for that school as a coach uh, talked to my mom and told my mom, like, bring these kids down there and train. So yeah. I think I was introduced to tennis. Nothing really inspired me to play tennis. So that's how I got into tennis. So nothing really inspired you to... No, but yeah. once I got into tennis, you need something to inspire you to continue. Yes. So after seeing Serena, no, that's what kept me going. Wow. Yeah. Do you have any other siblings? I understand you have your twin sister, mm -hmm. Rosalita. Yeah. Yeah, you told me you guys are fraternal twins. Yes. Oh, great. Do you have any other siblings? No, uh -huh. I don't. So it's just you, your grandmother, and your sister? My aunt and uncle, yes. Your aunt and uncle. Yeah. Yeah. Has there been an instance when Rosalita felt like, you know, she's not doing well enough perhaps that is a question i should ask her yes but i'm looking at you guys going for the ball the two of you from this same um, background and you're encouraging each other every day despite what you've gone through in the past to keep going has there been a moment when you know you felt like perhaps i'm not pulling her enough or i'm not encouraging her enough or perhaps she's not doing so much I don't know, but you know what I mean. I understand what yeah. you mean, but uh, as, as you said yourself, I don't know if I'm the right person to answer it, but yeah. as a sister, I'm trying. As a sister, yeah. you must have some input. Yeah, as a sister, I'm really trying. Even by me achieving all this, it's a motivation for her too. So I'm also motivating her to actually know that she has the potential to actually do what I'm doing because we started at the same age together. And when we were young, she used to beat me. Yeah, so she was better than me when we Look were young. At you. You're actually Serena and me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she used yeah. to be beating me when we were young. So I don't know what's changed, but I, I always encourage her like to keep working hard and to just believe in herself that she can also be better than me. Do you guys indulge in sibling rivalry? Uh, Have you had any incident when that happened? Did we? I mean, yeah. we fight over funny things, but uh -huh. not... Uh, <laughs> Maybe I take her food or something, uh -huh. funny stuff like that. Yeah. You take her, you know, like shorts and yeah. yes. t-shirts and stuff Somebody like know. that. I know. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about sponsorship and partnership. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have any particular, you know, um, brand that growing up, that was, oh my gosh, I want to associate with that. Because we see people, we see sportsmen and sportswomen, you know, having all these collaboration and partnership and sponsorship with different, you know, sporting companies. So as I, when I was growing up, I didn't have, like for me, I didn't have like a specific brand that I really wanted. Because, you know, beggars aren't choosers. Sorry to use that word, but... Uh, I, for me, I was like, whichever brand that comes, I'll go with it. Because yeah. I didn't have... I didn't have anything to rely on. So I was like, whichever brand that comes, I'm going with it. And lucky enough, Lotto came. My clothing, Lotto. Yes. So thank God they came. So I took that opportunity. And I also had Yonex sponsorship with the racket. So they came through. So I was lucky enough those two brands came out. So as I said, beggars are into So I just took what came my way. So yeah. What has been the setback for you besides the fact that... Uh, financing, you know, your sport, which is supposed to be like a job? For me, I think as a sports person, yeah. as a tennis player, that's definitely the challenge everyone is facing as a tennis player, like having enough funds to travel to play tournaments. Because tennis is not a cheap sport. It's expensive. It is. And if you don't have enough money or enough support 
it's tough for you to travel and it's tough for you to actually break through soon enough because as i said i chose the college path because i didn't have enough funding and college path it's a long path to actually be able to achieve my goal of becoming now a professional tennis player that's why i chose that path because i knew college would still help me like i would play for them but they would still like after the college term they would still pay for me some tournaments like maybe seven or six tournaments so you'd be able to still check part yeah. of the sport yeah but eight seven or six is not enough tournaments for you to like break through how or, many do you need to break through like you have to play like each month like maybe three weeks or two weeks like you have to play to be playing each week or each month let's say each month like maybe three weeks or two weeks because if you don't play your points are going down because yeah. other people are coming on top of you so maybe an example like when i was a junior i was playing i was definitely playing every month a tournament so i could maintain my ranking i could improve my ranking but because if you don't play any tournament people below you are overtaking you but you're not sticking the same place you're actually going below them because you're moving every time so if you if you keep playing you're moving up if you yeah. don't play you're moving down, moving down. so it's and the same thing as seniors. yeah yeah so if i don't play enough my ranking is going down but if i keep playing it might stay the same or it's going up so that's the challenge we are having as tennis players enough funding and we don't have enough tournaments here in kenya because if maybe tennis kenya or the government try to organize tournaments for us here men and female not just female only like all of us it tennis would change dramatically for us because we'll have enough tournaments and you'll see a lot of kenyans breaking through because we have tournaments here for us and we'll have more players and we'll have more ranking for ourselves and that would be like a great thing for all athletes here in kenya for like tennis players yeah so now that you took part in the gene cup uh what is your next venture yeah, so after my Billie Jean King Cup, I'm planning to go to Tunisia for three weeks. It's a futures event. Yes. How Tunisia. do you get yourself so grounded? Because there are times when you wake up and you don't feel like uh, getting out of bed, for instance. There are moments you wake up and you feel like it's just a bad day. You know, your mood is not, you're not feeling it. Honestly, as a human being, what gets you to just get out of bed? Well, for me, what gets me going is, as I said, my drive is my grandmother. She never gave up on us. She also woke up uh, like very early in the morning at 3 a.m. to like, try and look for money for us, for food for us. So me playing this sport is something that I chose. And it's something that I know will take me far and will also help my family. So waking up, some days, yeah, some days I don't want to wake up. But I also know that I have a dream and a dream to chase. So I also have to tell myself that you know i've also had this thing that when you're tired that's when you gain a lot or when you don't want to do something that's when you gain a lot so usually when i have that in mind it pushes me to like wake up and go to train even when i don't want i train because i know those days that you feel down those are the days that actually build you or those are the days that will make you stronger it's the same thing as failure if you don't fail you will not succeed so that's what keeps me going and it's still keeping me going from now on, yeah. We are also aware that she's away, you know, in Alabama for studies. Yeah, and while she's away, what do you do or where are you? Because uh, Kitambo, we used to have this thing mm -hmm. that twins are meant to be together. Mungina kienda uku, mungina pia nenda uku. So you guys are playing tennis, same, same sport. What happens? What happens when she's away? Um, she's away. Um, she's studying in Alabama, and I'm also away um, in the Where US, um, studying at Cowley in Arkansas. Red, do you guys meet each other? No. Do you don't. guys have tournaments that you play with each other? The friendlies or whatever? Um, no, because she's in Division One. I'm in Division Two, so we can't meet together. Oh yeah, you are already at the the seniors. Is no, we are all case? in the senior, but like she's in Division 1. What does that school. mean? Division 1, it's like she's in a four-year school and I'm in a two-year school. So does that mean you're going to finish before she does? Yeah, I'll finish my two years and I'll have to graduate to another school. Wow. How do you find playing ten tennis abroad as compared to home? Um, I think it's a good place to play in the U.S. 
because especially in the US you're playing in hard court, not clay court or maram court. But I like both places, Kenya and the US. So it was a good experience my first year in in college and it's pretty good. It's pretty good. What do you miss when you're there? You know, what do you miss being Kenyan? Um, I miss my parents and the food and my friends. And your friends. Have you not met new friends there? Um, I have, uh -huh. but not many. I only have four friends. Okay, I have tennis friends, but like, especially the people who I work with, there were four friends. Your, your family in this case, perhaps you can just give me, you know, a sneak preview, if I may ask that, because I'm aware of your grandfather, I mean your grandmother, and uh, uh, Angela told me about your uncle as well. Tell me more. I just miss them because when I was here, I used to see them every day, and my uncle used to train with, um, coaches me sometimes, so that's what I miss about them. Ningependa kujua Angela Kutori alipoteza mamake wakati gani na alizaliwa wakati upe. Labda wewe kama nyanyake ungeni pasha zaidi. Angela Kutori na Rosilinda Asumwa ni watoto wa msichana wangu mkubwa. Um, alipata mimba kabla ya ndoa. Uh, alafu akaenda pumwani, kafanyua operation lakini ikaenda vibaya. Uh, from there, akapele kwa Kinyata ICU. Kwenda kumuangalia, tukapata lihaga. So, kutoka hapo, ikawa ni kuanza kutafuta Angela na Rosie. This awa mapacha. Tukarudi pumwani, tukawatafuta, tukawapata. So, kutoka hapo, nikawachukua, nikaanza kuishi nao. Na before wakae na mimi sana, iplani katokea waende children's home. Wakaenda uko, wakaka miezi tatu, nikaona uko watapotea, nikaenda kuchukua, nikarudi nao nyumbani. So kutoka hapo nimewalea mpaka saa hii na muwana Angela na rozi wakiwa hivi. Mekua kama ni wewe mzazi wake wa kwanza wa Angela, nieleza isanga motozipi umepitia, you know, kumwelekeza Angela wakati anapo kuwa kama mtu mzima. Challenges ziko nyingi. Unajua watoto mapacha kulea si kazi rahisi. Huyu analia, huyu analia, unataka upatie huyu maziwa, huyu anataka. Yaani ilikuwa kazi ngumu sana. Lakini kitu ya kwanza muhimu na shukuru uh, Loreto Sisters kwa sababu walinipa na, uh, kazi. Hiyo kazi imenisaidia sana ndio imewalea. Yaani Unajua pesa pia itoshangi. Ile kidogo unapata mahitaji na kuwa mengi, unapambana huku na huku. Matatizo yalikuwa mengi, lakini kwa yote tulipambana tu mpaka mahali wamefika. Na besides that, ningependa pia kujua kama mzazi wa kwanza wa Angela alianza kucheza tennis wakati upe. Ndio wafikie tennis. Ilikuwa safari ngumu sana. Wajua kulea watoto mapacha si kazi rahisi ni ngumu. Lakini nilijaribu vile ninaweza niliwalea walipofika miaka ine kochi jo aka wa, alikuwa anawapata wamekaa nje wanacheza pale kwa kiwanja akasema nyinyi simu naweza kuja huku mka shika shika racket hivi hivi so kochi jo akaniuliza nikamwambia hiyo ni ukweli badala wakae bure wacha waende huko hivyo ndio walianza tu kujifunza funza kidogo kidogo na kochi jo Wakati wali kwa wanaendelea hivyo, wamekua wakienda matona mendi, wanarudi, wanarudi, kochijua, wanaenda nae Mombasa, nakuru, wapi, lakini ikafika wakati. Angela na Rozi, walikuwa wanaenda matona mendi, but Angela alikuwa juu kiasi, yani kwa matona mendi alikuwa na perform. Ndiyo ITF Center, Mr. Thierry, akasema Angela anaeza ingia kwa center because alienda Nairobi club akafanywa majaribio lakini kaonekana baada ya mdogo alikuwa 9 years alipofika miaka kumi, ndio alipoenda Burundi na nini you know haswa kinakufanya uwe na pride kama mzazi kumhusu mtoto huyo 
kitu yenye sikuwa na amini siku moja nitaona mtoto wangu hata anaojua na wazungu eh sikuwa na amini naweza tendeka na najua na, na, na mimi hata naamini na ninamwambia na, na bado utaenda saidi hata utapita serena one day Eh, mali Serena alifika utakuta uko mbele saidi. Bora tu unajiamini, unatoa maringo, yani pride. Unakuwa tu discipline. Namwambianga aweke Mungu mbele. Na mahali anje na mefika, yani anafanya tunaojiwa tu kwa tunajua siku <laughs> moja tutaonekana kwa TV. Hii tu ndio maajabu ya Musa yake. Hii ni maajabu. Na namuombea walai, namuombea amwambia Mungu. Angela amefanya tu yani tutainuka naamini na tutainuka. Angela amefanya tunajulikana. Tuko na fridge, tuko na kitu yenye tunge kwa nayo, tuko na washing machine, hatujawahi fungua, we don't know how to use it lakini iko. Toto wangu aliniambia hiyo wacha tu. Utafungua saa ile uko na nyumba mama. Na utakuwa unafua mara tatu kwa wiki. Wacha ikae hapo. Wacha nicheze. Wacha nicheze. Mama utafurai. Huyu kwa ndiye ananiambia anga utafurahi hii maisha unakaa hapa hapa hivi hiyo utakaa na mimi napiga magoti chini na mwambia na Mungu akusikie aliye juu oh grandma asante sana kujumuika na sisi na asante sana kunijuza ile ambayo sikujua kumhusu mtoto huyo thank you so much for making time for us Angela Octoy's story is more of resilience and never giving up on ambition. And I hope that was inspirational to you. Many thanks for watching the show today. Join us again every Saturday at 8.30 p.m. Kenyan time only on KTN News. And if you have a story you'd like to share with us, please don't hesitate. Write to us through Globetraction at standardmedia.co.ke or DM us on our social media platforms at Globetraction or at KTN News KE. You can also tap that follow button to me on my social media platforms at Pasil Telewa on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube and TikTok for more stories. But until then, I hope to catch up with you again same time, same place. Bye-bye.